I know, I, I know. It was over there. I don't see it anymore. I think it ran away. Maybe your snort scared it. Monsters, and today uh, I thought I'd do a little experiment with my lotion bars because market is coming up. So let's um, do a test batch, and you guys get to find out if this works <laughs> along with me. So with my triple butter bar, um, it has cocoa butter, shea butter, and goat butter. This is less than I usually make for a full batch because this is again a test batch. And we're going to measure these out here. We need about four ounces, and then we have one ounce of goat butter already measured. That's two and a, mm, three and five eighths. Come on. There, four. Three pieces. So let's just get that, and then we'll measure four ounces of shea butter, and this is by weight. Alright, two, four ounces of shea butter. How much is that in kg? How much is that in kg? Well, I bumped it. Well, is it three and seven eighths or is it four? Give it the stare down. It's fine. There. Alright, and then um, kg here is 114. Okay. Or, well, 114, it says G's. G's. For grams. For grams. How much does a hipster weigh on Instagram? Oh! Then we have our, how much goat butter do we have here? We, I have one ounce, but I don't know what the G's is for that. 13 G's. Can you hit it for the? Yeah, well that's a, oh wait, one, three eighths of an ounce. All right then. Approximately, it was one ounce melted. All right. And then we will heat this up very low and slow because you don't want to burn it, especially with the goat butter or cook the oils. And then since this is a espresso latte, a lot of people like um, having art on their lattes and coffees. And so I'm gonna add espresso, very fine ground espresso, make this dark. And then I'm gonna put little cocoa butter hearts. These are just cocoa butter and goat butter that I made during another experiment, but they ended up being cute. And so I will put those in the center of the bars once this has been mixed in there, and then hopefully that'll work out and be cute and stuff. But first, we gotta melt this down so that we can add the espresso. Okay, so we have melted it down, so it is now in its liquid form. We're now going to add espresso, which we have here. We'll start with about a quarter cup. A little less, maybe. We're just gonna add bit by bit and see how well it plays. Okay, I might not need that much then. <laughs> That's starting to be like uh, eight different colors. Yeah. Is that black? Yeah. I don't know, coffee looks pretty black when it's brewed. It smells it's good though. Straight up, yeah. Yeah, because there's the cocoa butter and then there's also the scent of the coffee, so it smells like coffee and chocolate. Alright, now does that look like that's gonna sink to the bottom? Let's see. I'm holding it up in the spoon. I'm looking, they look suspended. Not seeing them sink down to the bottom. The coffee has some really great antioxidants. It's also gonna give a very light exfoliate. Yeah, let's see, I'm looking at it right now. It does not seem to be sinking to the bottom. So we might be able to pour this in right about now. Look at this, out of the way. quarters full so that the hearts are not drowned because we don't want to lose our hearts here.
Usually if this was a regular batch, it would be filled up to the top, but you will see. Need more. We might get more, because I'm not filling it up all the way. Probably top off the rest of the other ones. I messed up on one. Not exact. There we go. Alright then. Okay. Those are black and then these were made with uh, cocoa butter and goat milk and uh, uh, some of these uh, did not come out perfect so let's pick the best ones. And should we wait until this cools up? Yeah, because they're gonna melt but I thought I would show you how these look. They're gonna sink down to the bottom too if we don't let them yeah. Cool by how? At least. So we'll let that sit a little bit and then come back. Okay. Because it's kind of, it's really warm. Really hot. Okay. Alright. So we'll see you. Hey, wait a minute. This is a test. Put Maybe. one in anyway? Let's put one in and see what it does. As a test. For science. This is for science. It's for science. For science. Alright. Um, you. Boop. It's like. We lost it. We lost our hair. Well, that was also one that was tiny. It's trying really hard though, because it's like holding a little bit. Okay. So, um, we'll wait until this solidify and then a little bit, okay. and then maybe we can stick it up and it will be closer to the top. Okay. And while it's, it's going to function well by having an extra little uh, cocoa butter boost. Yeah. It's not looking all decorative and stuff. Yeah, so we're gonna wait. <laughs> okay. Okay, so it's been about 15 minutes. We put these in the fridge to get them to at least be half solidified. The one that we put in when it was still warm, I think melted in and I can't really see it. So don't do that. <laughs> we learned not, what not to do. It was for science. It was for science. Well, well we had to know. So we're gonna put these in here now that it's only in half. Ooh, cute. And then should I push them down in? Yeah. They're kind of flat with that. But it's, it still it's make, sticking up. <laughs> yeah. But it still makes a little heart, right? So we'll put them in the fridge again so that they fully solidify and then see if we can pop them out of the mold. Or at this point, just wait a minute. Just wait. Okay. <laughs> hey. Okay, so they went back in the fridge and they're now fully solidified. At least I think they did. They aren't jiggling. Let's see if we can get them to come out. It's a silicone mold. It's your silicone molds. Ooh. Some of it did sink to the bottom. That's the scrubby side. Yeah. That looks pretty. And then we have some things <laughs> on my hands now. Moisturized. Yeah, my hand treatment while making these. So I will put these in our usual lotion tins. That looks cute. Get a little thing and then let's see. I have to peel it away from the silicone here. Come on. I'll catch you. There it is. There it is. But yeah, those look really cute. Especially with the coffee that's built on top. Adds another color to it. And this one over here, I'm gonna see if it actually melted or if it just sank to the bottom. Come in. It sank to the bottom, but it's not visible. Yeah, so it's it's yeah. uh so it's a shadow heart. It's a, <laughs> it's a stealth heart. So, but this isn't a complete waste. Um, we can melt this down again and make it into a scrub bar, so that will just go in there. And then add sugar and salt. Yeah. Mm. Wait a minute. Actually, I can 
just tip this over and just go like that. Oh, there's one. There we go. There's a belt on my fingertips. And so these are really good for after working in the yard and your hands are a little rough. Yeah. So I would say that those work out. Them up on Etsy and it's like limited edition which I'll put uh, down there in the description if you want to get these the only four here unless I decide to make more um, but yeah thanks for taking this journey with me and good experiment uh, yeah I'll have the full recipe down in the description if you want to attempt this and thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and all that stuff. And I will see you in the next video.